A Virginia photographer recently captured a rare weather phenomenon. Meteorologist Ricky Matthews shows us this unique photo and talks about what sprites are. For years, Peter Forrester has been trying to capture one of the most elusive elements of a thunderstorm, the red sprite. This picture was captured towards the uh, western areas of Virginia just after 10 p.m. a couple of days ago. And what he captured here are these red electrical discharges above a thunderstorm that we refer to as sprites in meteorology. So let's talk about where sprites occur and where in the atmosphere they occur first. Now we have different levels of the atmosphere. The bottommost level where airliners fly and where most of the weather occurs is the troposphere. That goes up to around 33,000 feet. Above that is the stratosphere and above that is the mesosphere 31 to 53 miles up and that's where our weather occurs, where the uh, sprites and meteors occur oftentimes. So let's talk about what a sprite is and how it occurs in a thunderstorm. We'll bring in our thunderstorm here and talk about the electrical discharge in a storm. You have cloud to ground lightning. That's where the energy is directed towards the ground. And then in, with a sprite, you actually have an upward discharge of that energy and the electricity. And that's where you get those sprites in the upper levels of the atmosphere. So pretty cool stuff. Now, these sprites are still not really understood too well. There's a lot of research ongoing to figure out uh, why and when they occur, um, but they can also range in size and shape. Some common shapes include a jellyfish or a carrot, and sizes can be anywhere between uh, 100 miles to 300 miles. So pretty cool stuff that we see sometimes in thunderstorms, but it's very rare to capture it on photograph, especially in the state of Virginia.